Hydrogen peroxide was catalytically decomposed and 75.3 milliliters of oxygen was collected over water at 25 degrees Celsius to 742 torrs. What mass of oxygen was collected? Well, technically, we are doing a PV equals NRT question and we're going to get our N first. It'll be the moles of oxygen is what we're going to obtain. However, I can't use that 742 torrs, not directly, because that's the pressure of, of the um, oxygen being produced and the water vapor in there. So I need to subtract out the amount that is water. That's why that was given to us, so we know how much of that initial pressure is water. And also, since um, PV equals NRT needs atmospheres, I'll need to convert this into torrs. So once I get that deference, I'll do a little conversion. Um, the volume needs to be in liters. I'm just going to write it that way. I can move the decimal three places. N is what we're going to solve for. R is our gas constant, the 0 0.08206. And we are at 25 degrees, so that's 298 Kelvin. So let's at first solve for just our N. So 742 minus 24, and divide that by 760. That will be the pressure of our oxygen in atmospheres. We're going to multiply that by the 0 0.0753. Then we will divide by our R value, and by the temperature. And this value is our moles. And it is up there as A. But um, I want a mass of oxygen. So I'm going to take that N that I just got. And I'm going to essentially multiply it by the molecular weight of oxygen. And that will give me our answer. So the answer is 903. So it is B. Um, a common mistake, people forget to convert on this. Uh, if it does ask for mass, um, you get your moles from PV equals NRT, so make sure you check your units.